Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to manage apps connected to Facebook. Now, we all have apps on our phone. We love playing, and sometimes we connect it to our Facebook account so our other friends on there could, you know, play with us and see we're playing. I'm going to show you actually how you can manage that those apps. So if you want to remove one or you want to change their permissions, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is go to Facebook and log into your account. And let's do it the easy way. We'll start fresh. We'll go here. We'll say, hey, we're going to go to Facebook. There we go. Okay, if you're not logged in, make sure you log in. Um, once you're logged into your account, you're going to be in your home screen. You're going to go up to the top right. And right next to the question mark, you're going to click the down arrow to get the menu. The menu will appear. You're going to go down the menu to settings right down here. You want to click on settings. And in settings, the settings screen, you want to go to the left menu and go all the way down to apps and websites. You're going to click on that. Okay, now once you're clicked on the apps or website, this shows you the ones that are connected to your Facebook account. I only have two. I used to have like 15 and I went through, I wrote the article on this and decided I needed to remove them all. Um, so here's two I have on here. I'm going to show you with Clash of Clans. I don't play it anymore really, but I have it still attached, which isn't always good. So I'm going to show you how you let's let's show you how you actually change the permissions first. So if you click on the app, so here's the app. I'm going to click on it, and now I'll pull up this little window. You're going to see at the top um, name and profile pictures required for this app, so they have to see that. So you can't change that. Um, now the friends list, the names of your friends who also use and have shared their friends lists with Clash of Clans, it will show them, and I'm not going to allow that, so I'm going to turn that off. So that's now off. Now if you go to additional app settings, can this app send you notifications? You can actually shut that off by clicking the yes and just turning it to no. Now it won't send me any notifications at all, which is kind of nice because sometimes the notifications get annoying. And also here you can say who can see you use this app. This setting controls who on Facebook can see that you use this app, but not your activity or if someone tags you within the app. So. You know, I have it as only me, which I think that's important. I don't know if you would want to make it public or you want your friends to see it. That's up to you. Um, security to me is very important. So we kind of want to go in here and take care of that. Um, so classic clans, all apps take your information. We all know that. And that's this kind of, you know, takes away some of their power. But if you don't want the app, so hit save when you're done. So if you're done, you say, oh, I'm good. But there's actually down here. You can remove the app altogether just by hitting remove here. So I'm going to save the settings I do first. So I'm not going to, you can click remove, but we're actually going to do that on the other screen. So we're going to hit save here. So now we change the permissions. Now to remove it here, you can like, if you had a list of apps on here, you would just check mark the box next to it on the right here. And then when you click that, you can go up to here and hit remove. So you can do multiple things. So if you had a whole bunch, you can check all the boxes and then hit remove altogether. So I'm going to show you how to remove that really quick. Since now you know how to change the permissions, now we're going to hit remove. Now look, it's going to give us a screen. It's going to warn us like always. This may delete your Clash of Clans account and activity. Blah, 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 blah. So they like to scare you so you can stay with them. But we're going to say delete post videos or events Clash of Clans posted on your timeline. And that one actually I am going to click to. I don't want to have it on my timeline so you can check that. You don't have to check that. You can leave those posts on, but I'm going to check it. And then this says send notification to Clash of Clan that you removed it. Nah, I don't need to know. So you, it's kind of nice you can do that so you don't have to like, hey, look, I just deleted you. No, it's none of their business anyway. So that's all you have to do. Now, after you check the boxes you want here, just hit remove. And yes, this may offer you another way to log in. So send notifications. They do have other ways. You don't have to log in with Facebook all the time on some apps. Some you, you just log in just like normal. But that's it. So hit remove. So I'm removing it. and. Now it's telling me Clash of Clans removed. So that's how easy it is to go into your Facebook account and manage the, the apps you have that are attached to your Facebook account. So just hit done and now it's gone. It's that easy to remove any apps and manage them on Facebook. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.